What's going on everybody? This is Gary from Killer Off-Road Hobbies and this is going to be the last video of the three-part series of Moon Rocks. It was a blast. I'm telling you, it was an absolute blast. I wish I would have filmed more than I did, but I was having battery issues and stuff, especially like the nighttime stuff. It's really fun. Um, it's really crazy and <laughs> It's really hard. Like I would have to go stand on the rocks for a couple hours to get a decent spot. And just being down in the pits and stuff, like down in the bottom area, it's just too crazy. Everything's so loud. There's so much going on. So even like recording at all would have been pretty difficult. So I opted to do a little tiny bit of filming and ch just basically try to enjoy my time there. Now, what I wanted to do real quick, I'm just going to kind of give you guys a rundown of what I've done to the Tacoma since I haven't filmed a whole lot of it. Basically, what I have done uh, to the Tacoma thus far is I put a full spool in the rear. I went with a uh, limited slip at first. I got a Eaton Detroit True Track. And I didn't like it at all. So um, I wanted to keep this thing streetable. So that's why I didn't go with the full spool right away. But after talking to Ross, which is the guy that did the cage and stuff, who's really, really knowledgeable about crawlers and especially Toyotas, um, he said, as long as I'm not going to be driving this thing like hours and hours all the time, a full spool was not going to affect the drivability of this truck that much. So after I spent a bunch of money, you know, wasted a bunch of money, I should say, um, I went with just the tr uh, tried and true full spool in the rear. Um, I did, when I got this thing, it did have an ARB in the front. It was not hooked up. I bought the whole kit and hooked it all up. It does have the compressor with the onboard air kit. So this thing does have onboard air through the ARB. Um, and I, like I said in a previous video, I wanted to do an ARB in the rear. I just putting out that much money after I had already bought a locker I didn't need and all that stuff is a uh, plane going over. That's cool, check it out. Like almost never unless I'm filming, right? So I did want an ARB, but uh, I just, I couldn't justify paying for it. I, re I really couldn't. Um, I've dumped a lot of money into this thing. So ARB in, uh, in the front, full spool in the rear. I did do, uh, I bought all this stuff from Trail Gear. I got a heavier flywheel so I can lug it down lower. I did get the crawl box. The crawl box is in it. I will show you guys that in a little bit. And um, I got the Trail Gear dual transfer case uh, skid plate, and it's running 529s front and rear. It's got a fully built, a fully built rock assault front, which is the reason why I got the truck. And then, as you guys saw um, in the first video of this, it, I did get the cage put on it. It does have a 12,000 pound winch in the front. Um, but I'm not done. I'm not done by any means with this thing. I already have a set of Chevy 63s for the rear with a whole kit to put them in that comes with uh, bigger shackles and everything. Um, and I do have almost everything I need to do a three link in the front, which is the plan. I'm gonna go three link in the front. I'm gonna leave the rear leaf sprung for now. I do have the four link kit that I can put in there if I desire to later. But I'm going to try the leaf spring with the three link front for now. Um, I think that's going to be a pretty good combination. But anyways, uh, yeah, center force clutch. Uh, the good one that's recommended for crawlers. Uh, and I just put the, I just put some wheel spacers on it. I know people say not to run those, but I had them on my Forerunner previously, and I had zero issues with the wheel spacers. So, um, as far as motor-wise, it's just got the 2.7. It does have a header, but you know, it's it's getting there. It's not. 
I wouldn't call it the perfect um, model for a crawler. I would have liked to have a V6. Um, but the 2.7 does really good. It's a really reliable motor. Um, it gets pretty darn good gas mileage for having 37s. And I do have a set of bead locks for this truck that I run when I'm off-road. Uh, I do plan on getting a bunch of footage of this thing with me wheeling. Um, unfortunately, like I said, I just, I didn't want to put that burden on my wife while we're out there on vacation having fun. But next time I'm going to lean on her a little bit. Anyways, uh, I'll show you guys a couple things about the truck and then we'll get into this video because this went a lot longer than I wanted it to. Okay, so I'll just go over like kind of the quick interior. So I painted this with actual upholstery paint and stuff. I put some Soundstream six and a half in it. It's got S type uh, S type six by nines in the back. I did put these seats in here that I was able to get from a guy uh, for pretty cheap. It's got four point harnesses in the front and in the back, as you can see. Um, this stuff, I just got this done, so it's roughly put in here. I do still need to drill holes. I have it just put in with self-tapping screws right now, but I wanted to drive it where the seat is and make sure it's comfortable and everything before I went full-blown and installed it where it's at. Um, as you can see, the crawl box here, um, dual transfer cases, you know, I got a touchscreen deck or whatever. I just, you know, and I did take the old uh, seat belts out front and rear. Like I pulled the panels off and took all the stuff out. So the stuff's just not sitting in there with it cut off or whatever. So I'm trying to do it all pretty legit. I do want this to be like a relatively nice truck, even though it's going to be a crawler or it is. I should say it is a crawler, but I do want this to be a relatively nice truck. Um, because I do plan on keeping it and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a whole bed cage you know some pillars coming down off of there to maybe like something for the bed and then tie into this uh, bumper we'll see I mean it's all money it's all in uh, good fun but yeah I just wanted to show you guys that real quick and I do have to say I will say this so I put one of those center force clutches in my forerunner uh my my old crawler and i absolutely love it uh loved it and then i put the 550 horse uh like i said crawler recommended center force clutch in this and it's absolutely killer i recommend those clutches for toyotas 10 times out of 10. those things are, are just awesome the the grab you get from them the the feel of the pedal i mean it's just uh i had that south bend dual disc clutch in my dodge and this is just so much nicer so much nicer than any other clutch i've driven but let's get to the video this is just kind of you know an ongoing project let's do it fj extraction i think it's carbureted
They're puking some kind of fluid. Probably power steering.
big tires for Moon Rocks.
That was crazy. Check it out. We are on top of everything up here. This is crazy. That's where we're camped. Way down there. <laughs> Look at all that. That's fucking believable. It's craziness. We just went like, bah, wah. well, you guys saw. <laughs> That is absolutely gnarly. There's a higher point. We might have to go to there. Now look at this. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Just rowdy.